Hello folks. It is a gorgeous midsummer day here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And I would like to welcome you to the new improved version of our seahorse in the pines tiny house. This is uh, my co-host Sancho Ponzo wants to welcome you to the seahorse tiny house in the pines. This is, uh, seahorse is by far our most popular of our three tiny houses and probably for pretty good reason. It is uh, certainly the most private and secluded of the three tiny houses. So if you're looking for not 100% but pretty much uh, solid seclusion uh, you might want to think about seahorse in the pines it is also by far the shadiest and the coolest on these hot summer days although it's not a hot summer day uh, sometimes it is and if you really want to get in the shade and relax and take it easy. Seahorse in the Pines probably would be your pick, but we are filling up quick. So uh, if you want to reserve Seahorse, you need to get on it. And so to point out, there is a driveway, your own private driveway doesn't quite reach seahorse but it saves a lot of walking from the uh, from down below so if if our co-host Sancho Ponzo would let us by are you gonna let us by little dog we will uh, continue the tour so uh, here's our main new addition that we have just added here at seahorse is this beautiful completely 100 percent private screened in porch so you now have a way to get uh out of both the rain and the uh unwanted bugs at bugs in a jar so uh, this is your view from your screen porch so we have a uh a single hammock hung in here this big red thing over in the corner if you're wondering what that is probably should have hung it up it is a big double hammock a big double hammock that uh, goes between those two pine trees down there if you and a friend want to double up so let's head inside and uh, see what we've got. So uh, here is the view from inside Seahorse. So Seahorse is 8 feet by 10 feet, uh, not counting the porch. The porch is 6 by 10 feet. The actual tiny house is 8 by 10 feet. And it has a double bed, sometimes called a full mattress. So this mattress comfortably sleeps two people. And it is 54 inches wide, if you really need to know. Now, since we have added the screen porch, uh, there's room for, you know, a third or maybe a fourth person to sleep on the screen porch. There is some confusion because there's four guests allowed at Seahorse, but I uh, understand there is just one double bed for couples and uh, single travelers or couples. So, anywho, so what we have here. Uh, <clears throat> 
you see that we have the lights on well the seahorse we have moved the blue eddy 2000 watt generator uh from blue dragon up to seahorse so this 2000 watt generator should serve all of your needs especially in the summer now obviously there's no ac here but it is powerful enough to run a fan and there's also an electric coffee maker which it can run in the morning heat your coffee right up now seahorse does have a uh one of these cult two burner propane coleman camp stoves which you're welcome to use and always some of our plenty of our delicious well water uh, to enjoy and what else do you need to know about seahorse uh, there's a separate video how to run that generator now the uh, the Wi-Fi and internet at Seahorse is a whole lot better than it used to be. Okay, we have improved the Wi-Fi, but we are quite a ways from the uh, from the main house. Uh, so Wi-Fi, I think, is pretty good here. Uh, but it's not perfect if you absolutely require a rock-solid dependable Wi-Fi internet connection you probably want to uh, choose one of our other tiny houses but it's a short walk it's about a a three-minute walk uh, down to the community kitchen which is a full kitchen which you're welcome to use and a full shared community bathroom with a flush toilet and a hot shower now speaking of bathrooms uh, so seahorse does have its own private outhouse so just a few steps away from the uh from the bedroom uh, you do have your own private outhouse. There is no running water in there. If you want your full plumbing, you need to uh, go down to the house. Now, like all of our uh, all of our tiny houses, uh, you have your own picnic table. Now, the Wi-Fi will generally work better from the picnic table than from the house itself so you have your own picnic table and your own private fire pit a big fire pit and there is the path that leads down to the main house a word about firewood there is a ton of firewood available here at Bugs in a Jar for you to scrounge. Uh, but I'm having a problem keeping it dry. It's been a rainy summer. So uh, I can promise you firewood. I cannot promise you dry firewood. So if, you're, if your heart is 100% set on a fire, I suggest bringing some dry firewood with you. But other than that, so if you would like to uh, book Seahorse or any of our three tiny houses here at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm, just go on to Airbnb. Uh, I do not reserve these houses directly through me. You need to go on Airbnb and uh, obviously check availability and prices. If you're having trouble finding bugs in a jar, you want to look at Wilseyville, New York. W-I-L-L-S-E-Y, Wilseyville, New York. 
and go up to the top and click on tiny houses and uh, you can find uh, how to book seahorse and uh, if seahorse is not available for the night or nights you hope to be here uh, there's a better chance that blue dragon or hummingbird tiny house will be available so don't give up if our uh, favorite child is already booked and with that I'm gonna wrap it up and say uh, come see us at Bugs in a Jar Farm we would love to show you around bye guys <laughs>